Um, all guys are stupid, especially when it comes to babies. And um, I averted one, like, really horrific thing that has happened to other people, and I never judge them when I see it happen. I feel terrible for them. And that is the guy that places the baby uh, car seat on top of the car Ooh. and then um, gets distracted and pulls out of the driveway mm. with the baby. I actually Does that happen a lot? I actually it happens. I actually did that. Did the car seat now, fall? Now I put the car in reverse and luckily we had taken a mirror, a full length mirror, out of the house and put it in the garage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it was in the corner of the garage. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm just the luckiest guy ever. This so you could see the top of the car yeah. through that mirror. Yeah. Woo! And, and no, I could see into the back seat. Okay. And um, see, Caroline is not there. Yeah, and I saw that. <laughs> wow, there's not where the car where'd seat my, go. Where my child go? Yeah, I could have driven down the street with my baby on top of the car. That's terrible. It but, is there, horrifying. but there are a lot of things you do that you know they end up being harmless. But at the time, you're like, what a moron. Yeah. And it just doesn't come natural to guys. Right. At all. No. Yeah couple of examples. Um, Trinity says, my husband was in charge of videoing at um, our daughter's first dance recital. Okay. She was four. Okay. We get the tape home. My husband videoed the wrong kid for an hour and a half. Oh, no. <laughs> Winner. Not one glimpse of our child. <laughs> Winner. On how this do video. Know, how do you not know which one you're Well, kidding? they all have their hair pulled back. They're all wearing red lipstick in the same costume. <laughs> no, I mean, it's this. true. You it speak, is hard I to I mean, I remember about. doing ballet. Everyone looks the same. Oh. You have hairspray to where your forehead's <laughs> pulled back and all that blue eyeshadow. Yeah, they want every kid to look the same, and so they do, oh, and then man. dad screws up. Tracy says, I had to be at the hospital early one day for a test. So I let my husband get the kids ready. God help me. <laughs> I called to see how things were going, and he's like, none of the clothes fit. They just don't fit. He was trying to put Build-A-Bear clothes on my two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> when my husband was teaching my son how to stand up to go potty, mm-hmm. he demonstrated himself doing it That's how and teach. said, you hold it like this. My son said, I want to try it and grab daddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kelly Tournier said, my son at two months old was constipated. So I told my husband over the phone to put in a suppository. They're right here in the medicine cabinet. He called back and said, it keeps slipping out. So I called him back and said, did you get it? He said, yes. I came home from work and found the suppository was in and it was in the right place. But he had duct taped my baby's butt cheeks together. <laughs> duct tape does fix everything. <laughs> but you got to get the tape off that poor no, little baby's no, bottom. No, no mom <laughs> solves anything with duct tape. No. But a dad will. <laughs> yeah, we will. And WD-40. Yeah, that's all we need. Spray some WD-40 on it. Put some toasting on it. That's all we need. Oh, my that's God. That's hilarious. Mm. Hit the baby's butt mm. clothes. Oh, man. When my husband uh, and six-month-old son were sitting on the floor watching football last week, I walked in the living room from the kitchen, and I see that my son is choking. Uh-oh. My husband doesn't even notice. <laughs> he's yelling and screaming at the game on TV. <laughs> when I start screaming, he's choking. He calmly turns the baby over, holds him like a football, and whacks him on the back, dislodging whatever he was choking on. He never looked away from the TV the whole time (laughs) as a a carrot flew out of his mouth. But that's the appropriate method for the baby, right, when they're choking? My husband said, "Yeah, I guess him gnawing on a raw carrot isn't a good idea. Go Saints! (laughs) Go Saints! We'll take your clueless dad stories. This is going to continue. Got to hear them. Um, Maybe we'll take calls on it tomorrow. I don't know. Sweet. Love it. Go to my Facebook page, and you can join in on this. Look for the post that says Clueless Dads. (laughs) That's at kidfacebook.com. Kidfacebook.com. 